Now let's try to get back in touch with them. We can't moderate in the camera, you know, my old still the nice. Now let's try to get back in touch with them. We can't moderate in the camera, you know, my old still the nice. All right, boys and girls, parents, teachers, if you are hearing my voice, just give me the thumbs up sign. Let me know you are hearing me loud and clear. If you are, let me see. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. If you are happy and you know it, let me see you. Put them up, man. Put up the, 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 the thumbs up. All right. Good, good. Now, parents, I'm going to ask you to move away and put your child. Let me see see my student everyone once you can turn on your mic your camera sorry just turn on your camera so i can see your faces give me the big smile all right i'm seeing Rache smith and Cass. all right two pretty little girls i'm seeing them i'm seeing kaylee smiling i'm seeing kesmani brown with his hand at his chin i am seeing Tremaine gordon beautiful i'm seeing daniel hall all right, I am seeing Jeremiah Rowe, Javed Reed, Kiana Clark, Rajan Campbell. I'm just going through and look at all my boys and girls. All right, I'm seeing Tammy's Cruz, we're going on a cruise soon. I'm seeing Jade Riley. I am seeing Aniti Ferran. I am seeing somebody named SW Galaxy A20. All right, I'm seeing my boys. Now what I want all of you to do, is to give your principal a wave this morning. Give him a wave. He's a little bit nervous, you know, he's, and he's having device issues. Beautiful, beautiful. I love that. I love that. No, hear what? If you are happy to be here, I'm just going to ask Miss Johnson just to unmute you for three seconds and just tell us. I I'm so happy to be here. Hi. I'm so happy to be here. 
start with our devotional exercise and I'll turn over to our teachers who will lead us out into devotion. Over to you, my colleagues. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our virtual orientation for grades two and three. My apologies, I was having technical difficulties, but I'm here nonetheless. Um, it's a pleasure having you all. We're going to go into our devotion. I'm gonna ask Miss Summon, Miss Campbell, and Miss Knight to prepare themselves. Miss Summon, over to you. Thank you. This morning's devotion is entitled Push, which means pray until something happens. And in order for us to get, in order for God to answer our prayers, we need to pray. God doesn't answer anything, any prayer that is not prayed. And the song this morning is, you don't have to worry. Don't you be afraid. Joy comes in the morning, troubles day. They don't last always. You don't have to worry. And don't you be afraid. Joy comes in the morning. Troubles, they don't last always. For there's a friend in Jesus. Who will wipe your tears away? And if your heart is broken, just lift your hands and say, Oh, I know that I can make it. I know that I can stand, no matter what may come my way. My life is in your hands. When you have tests and trials, they seem to get you down. And all your friends and loved ones, they are nowhere to be found. Remember there's a friend in Jesus who will wipe your tears away. And if your heart is broken, let me see your hands. Lift your hands and say, oh, I know that I can make it. 
I know that I can stand no matter what may come my way. My life is in God's hands. And as I, again, as I said to you, the thought that I, I came up with was push, pray until something happens. But I think this push works with two Ps for me. Pray, practice until something happens. And I'm encouraging you all students to just be open-minded and teachers as well, including myself, to just hope for the best this year. Because I know last year into this term was a bit challenging. And parents all over, I encourage you to just keep telling yourself that you can make it and encourage your students that they can make it as well. And I trust that you'll have a beautiful rest of the day. Thank you. Over to you, Ms. Campbell Morgan. We have now coming to us Ms. Campbell to do the prayer and then Ms. Knight, a thought. Ms. Campbell, Ms. Fernanda Campbell, are you there? Okay, Miss Someone, can you go ahead and pray for us? Um, I'm here now. We started. Oh, okay, but go ahead, Miss. This whole uh, is waiting to be released. Okay. Good morning, good morning, everyone. Can you pause with me in prayer? Oh, Lord, our God, how excellent is your morning. name. Your name is above the earth. This morning we come with praise, with worship, and with thanksgiving unto you, O Lord. We give you thanks this morning for this beautiful day. You woke us up and we are clothed in our right mind. And that's enough, Lord, to say thank you. Father, as we come as an institution, the Excelsior, school. I pray even, O oh Lord, that you will refresh us by your spirit. As we walk into this academic year, we are completely depending on you. We thank you, Lord, that when we need wisdom, you will be right there because you said if we lack wisdom, we should ask for it. And so, Lord, I ask this morning that you will pour your wisdom upon us as we seek you for guidance this morning. Help us, O oh Lord, to walk in wisdom as we navigate this teaching and learning experience this year. We thank you, Lord, that you are our ever-present help in times of trouble. In this time of uncertainties, we are glad this morning that, as the song says, we can make it because you are our God, you are our help. And so we look to you this morning for continued direction. Lord, as the many issues will arise throughout the school year, I pray God that you will help us to fix our eyes on you. Father, we cast all our anxieties on you because you care for us. We are depending on you for this academic year because we know that without you we can't stand you promise that when we are weak your strength will be made perfect and so lord we look to you who is the author and finisher of our faith i ask lord that you will bless each parent and each student i pray lord that the spirit of excellence will rest upon us as we go throughout this school year Lord, we put our hands in yours and we ask that you will lead us and guide us. 
provide the resources, provide the help that we need as we go through these trying times. We thank you for your many blessings. Thank you that you are right here with us. And so we give you everything and we say, lead us and obedience follow. Ask for your supernatural ability to understand the concept that will be taught this year. Bless you, us again, we pray, and let your will be done in our lives. In your son's name, amen. 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 I'm going to ask you to mute your microphones. Amen. Microphones, everybody. Thank you. Amen. Mute your mic microphones. Awesome. Amen. Amen. We're going to have Miss Knight come to you now. So listen to Miss Knight, everybody. Listen. All right. Can I ask every boy and every girl, can you please mute your microphones, everyone? And I'm going to give everybody two seconds to do that for you to mute your microphone. So two seconds. And remember that two seconds is not long. So I am waiting on Kristen Grant to mute her mic. Amoya, mute your mic. Okay, very good. So let me first welcome you all again, boys and girls, to our virtual orientation this morning. I am so happy to see all of you today, even my former grade two students. I am happy to see you all. I am happy to see um, the teachers, the principal, Mr. Holness, and the parents who are right by your side. I am happy to see all of you. God uh, has kept us during our summer break, and I know you all must be excited to come back. Be, even if although we are online, but let me see the hands of those who are excited that you get to see your friends again. Although it's not face to face, but you are happy to see each other. I know I am happy to see you, and I'm happy that all of you are well this morning. All right, so we're going. I'm going to go right into our thoughts for today. Now this morning, Miss Simon reminded us that we have to push, we have to pray until something happens. And I'm just gonna add just a few more words of encouragement to you boys and girls, including the parents and, and the teachers who are present today. Now, what I have to share with you today is have faith in God. Let me hear you say that boys and girls, and, and parents, Teachers, I want you to say that as well. Have faith in God. Have faith in God. Have one more one second, Mrs. Knight. I interject. Too many students' microphones. Okay, so as I was saying before, keep your microphones muted, boys and girls. So we are looking at have faith in God. I am going to share this very familiar um, Bible story with you this morning that I know maybe everybody knows this story. So this story is about when Jesus was on a boat and when there was a storm that came. I remember we recently experienced a tropical storm in Jamaica, where we had a lot of rain recently. So I want you to listen carefully to this story. So our story, it is taken from St. Mark 4, reading from verse 35 to verse 41. And it says, And the same day when the even was come, he said unto them, Let us pass over unto the other side. And when they had sent away the multitude, they took him even as he was in the ship. 
and there were also with him other little ships. And there arose a great storm of wind and the waves beat into the ship so that it was now full. And he was in the inner part of the ship asleep on a pillow. And they awake him and say unto him, Master, carest thou not that we perish? And Jesus arose and he rebuked the wind and he said unto the sea, peace be still. And the wind ceased and there was a great calm. And he said unto them, why are ye so fearful? Oh, is it he have no faith? And they feared exceedingly and said one to another, what manner of man is this that even the wind and the sea obey him? So here you have these disciples, they were on a ship with Jesus and this great big storm came and all the disciples were so afraid. They were saying to themselves, oh, come Jesus sleeping. And there's such a terrible storm happening. But Jesus was not afraid of this storm because Jesus knew that he was able to overcome this storm that was coming. And all Jesus did, he just got up and, I, and Jesus stretched out his hand to the wind. And Jesus just said, peace be still. And when Jesus said these few words, there was a calm. There was a calm. So boys and girls, as we are, we are in a new term, a new school year, I know some of you might be fearful, wondering and say, oh my, we have to come back online again for online classes and I'm not going to see my friends face to face, maybe even to hug one of your friends from, um, when, from the previous grade. But don't worry, boys and girls, there's nothing for you to be fearful about because you know that Jesus he is going to be with you. So even when you come and you meet your, your teachers for the first time, even for today, don't be fearful, boys and girls, but you're going to learn to have faith in God, that God is going to help you just as how he helped you when you are in your online classes, when you are either at grade one or in grade two, is going to do the same thing for you in this new school year. So I am encouraging everyone this morning, especially the parents, have faith in God and believe that although we are experiencing this pandemic same way, just know that God is with us. We might, we might look over our shoulder and say, boy, I wonder where God is. But you don't have to worry. He's right by your side. So you say, anytime you feel fearful or you feel like you cannot do something, just try and remember this Bible story of how Jesus calmed the storm. And you can just say, you just say to yourself and say, peace, be still. You can say, I'm um, clear Matthew, peace be still because you know that who is going to help you to get that peace in order for you to get to, to be calm? Who is going to help you to do that? Let me ask someone, Amaya, who is going to help you to keep calm if anytime you might feel fearful? Let me ask someone else. What about Ethan? Who is going to help you to keep calm? Ethan Rodney, unmute your mic. Who's going to help you to keep calm? All right, who has, who, which boy, bright boy or bright girl want to tell me? All right, that's why. Um, Lions, go ahead and tell us. Tell us. Unmute your mic. Okay, all right. So we, God is going to help us to keep calm do, um, during this time, during this season that we are um, doing our online classes once again. So I am encouraging you all boys and girls, just remember to have faith in God and believe that anything that you put your mind to, you are able to do it with the help of the Lord. So boys and girls, I wish for you a great new year in your new grade with your classmates, along with your new teachers. So I hope you all will have a fantastic, a fantastic new school year. 
So thank you, boys and girls, for listening to me this morning. I will now hand over to Mrs. Campbell Morgan. Bye, boys and girls. Thank you so much, Miss Knight. Thank you so much for reminding us that we should have faith in God. In spite of what is happening around us, we should always have faith. So excellence is never an accident. It is the result of high intention, sincere effort, intelligent direction, skillful execution, and the vision to see obstacles as opportunities. So we at Excelsior Primary and Infant strives for excellence. We are not perfect. We're not a, per a perfect institution, but our intentions are to see our children maximizing their full potential. So I am Katie and Campbell Morgan, and I will be your moderator for this session. So I have some special persons to welcome, right? And I'm gonna start with the parents. So special welcome to our parents, our dedicated and awesome parents. We have our brilliant and obedient students. We have our passionate and energetic principal, that's Mr. Oliver Holness. We have our soft-spoken and eloquent vice principal, Mrs. Shirley Pinnock. We have our zealous and hardworking team grade two. We have our enthusiastic and dedicated team grade three, our caring and thoughtful PTA team. And last but not least, we have our meticulous and talented office staff. So welcome again. And I'm gonna ask Mrs. Reed to play a video for us. Over to you, Mrs. Reed. Thank you so much, Mrs. Reed. And now we'll have our vice principal's address. Over to you, Mrs. Spinock. Thanks, Mrs. Campbell Morgan, for the opportunity. We give our thanks for the timely devotion, words of encouragement to have faith. Principal Holness. Fellow colleagues, PTA executive representative, our supportive parents, smart students, stakeholders, good afternoon. It's with great delight and humility that I take this opportunity to greet you on behalf of the Excelsa Primary and Infant School family. Special welcome, welcome Excelsorians, our grades two and three students, parents, to a new academic year. Welcome to our orientation exercise. Happy first day of school. I ask, how are you feeling, boys and girls? And I hear the resounding response, we feel fine. Hmm. In spite of the challenges and uncertainties, God has preserved and kept us. And we are thankful. He will continue to guide us through by his grace 
and by his wisdom. Please know that we can't wait to see your smiling faces, boys and girls. More so to interact and share in meaningful learning experiences face to face. Nonetheless, we can't do so just now, but learning continues. Our experience, creative, innovative, flexible, resilient staff members have started the planning process and they have been preparing for our students as the journey begins for academic recovery and enhancement. To our supportive parents, we are encouraging you to continue to provide your usual support and guidance to our students. Work closely with your child's teacher, communicate and continue to be in partnership with the school so that the students can be greatly impacted. All signs point to another incredible and productive school year. As a team, we value your enthusiasm, positive energy, and dedication to excellence as you soar yet higher. Aggie Animo will do it with thy might. Together we will. Please remember to take courage, stay positive, believe in yourself, work hard, follow the instructions. And remember that, boys and girls, you are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think. All the best to you all. We love you, we care. May the peace and blessings of the Lord be with you always. Thank you so much. Thanks, Mr. Morgan. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mrs. Spinock. So Mrs. Spinock reminded us, do it with all thy might. Believe in yourself and you are braver than you believe. Thank you so much. And now we have an address from our PTA representative, Mr. O'Connor. Over to you, Mr. O'Connor. Good afternoon, Ms. Campbell Morgan. Good afternoon Good to afternoon, sir. members of the PT executive body who may be here. Also, a special good afternoon to our principal, Mr. Holness, Vice Principal, Mrs. Pinnock, other members of the teaching staff for the great respective grades that are present at the moment. We're grateful for the opportunity to be able to serve you at another school here. We want to extend a special welcome to all of the parents, returning parents and new parents who are here with us at Excelsior for this academic year. It has been a trying circumstances that as we navigate this global pandemic, last year it was trying, but one of the things that we can say is that we did well as a school and as an institution, and we are seeking to endeavor to carry on the same level of objectivity this year and to accomplish all the goals that are necessary. As is evident, COVID-19 is something that we have to learn to live with because it is here and teaching must continue. And us as parents and parent body representative and teacher's body representative, we have to do whatever is necessary to ensure that our children get the best quality education. Thank you so much for choosing Excelsior Primary and Infant School to, to be able to provide that opportunity because we believe that we are one of the best schools and, and it's a school of choice. And nonetheless, you have all chosen to be here. Thanks for making the school the school of choice. And we pray and we hope in all earnest that we have a successful, a wonderful and a blessed year. Thanks so much for our lovely students who are returning and for the new ones. We hope for you that you will progress. And not only as a mother said, uh, uh, we, we hope that you will excel beyond all ex expectation this year and make this school of choice the best school possible. As we look forward to as an executive body to have our PTA meeting at the end of the month, we will be able to discuss other activities and objective as to how we can best serve the school in this new academic year. Do have a God bless and wonderful year to you all. Thank you so much, Mr. O'Connor. 
All right, boys and girls, I want to participate in this one for me. I want to show me a thumb up or a smiley face or a heart if you're happy to be here today. I want to see them going up quickly. Come on, boys and girls. Awesome. Very good. All right. So now we're going to have someone special coming to us, right? He's passionate and energetic. And we're going to have our own principal, Mr. Oliver Holness, coming to you with his address. Over to you, sir. Good. I am, I am, I am a little bit scared of the boys and girls. Mrs. Campbell Morgan, if you're hearing me, tell me yes. Yes, I'm hearing you, sir. So boys and girls, you know why I'm a little bit scared? This morning in the first session, my device and my internet messed me up. So I am now in the second session and I'm a little... All right, we see that we have lost Mr. Holness. Mrs. Spinock, are you there? Mrs. Spinock? Not hearing Mrs. Spinock either. Oh Lord. All right, boys and girls. I want you to give me your favorite song. I want uh, Damani. Damani, are you there? I'm not hearing some persons. Give me a song so I can play it for you. Or you can sing it for us. Is Mrs. Spinock here in the room? Yes, thanks. I, I was unable to on mute we apologize okay. for that break sir holness sure. has been experiencing some challenges with his device of course he wanted to welcome our boys and girls and our parents to the start of the academic year i know he'll be sharing the core values with our parents reminding us of the core values the mission statements and the vision statements and of course, to encourage our boys and girls that they should have an, a knowledge of it so the parents will continue to go through with them. I think he, wa he also wants to encourage our parents to provide the kind of support, working closely as a partner with the school so that we can create meaningful learning experiences for our students and also to impact their lives want to impact them greatly. He wanted to share on the action plan and to speak to the school improvement plan, which we have, the SIP, which will be posted for parents to follow through and to have an understanding of what is really happening in the school, the way forward where we are going. He also want to make mention of the NEI report, the National Inspector report that we received 2019 and the ratings that we have, good ratings. And of course we are pleased and we commend our parents who worked closely with the school for us to be able to achieve that high 
rating. And of course, we want to continue to encourage our parents to be on board because the goal is to raise the standard so that we can achieve the 0.5 rating, the highest, instead of being at good, we are at excellence, highest rating, and we want to work together to achieve such. There are many projects that we'll have to undertake to follow through and on the recommendations of the inspectorate, the report. And of course, we can't do it without our parents. They are so important to us, very important stakeholders. And we want to encourage them to give that kind of support for us to collaborate, have discussion, the communication lines are open and for us to work together. Whatever it is that we are doing at school and also to work closely with the PTA. We are encouraging parents to work closely with the PTA and maybe they'll ask, how can we get on? What can we do? Mr. O'Connor will speak to the parents very briefly on that. Over to Mr. O'Connor and then I'll follow through. Thank you. Mr. O'Connor, our president for the PTA. Are you connecting Mr. O'Connor? Okay, plans are in place for upcoming PTA meetings. Our parents will be duly informed. They'll be duly informed. Sorry, just give me a minute. Yes, please, sir. I'm following through. Sorry. Okay, I will. Okay, sir. Miss, Mrs. Campbell Morgan, the host, could unmute. Principal Holness, please, is trying to get in, unable to do so. All right, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, and so um, on the website, there'll be posting so the parents can see our projects that we want to undertake. And of course, our priority project is to complete the multi-purpose, our learning center, that upstairs building there. We want to house two additional classrooms for this academic year and to continue on the project so we can complete the other spaces that they can be utilized for our students based on our plans. We want to set up a state-of-the-art complex upstairs there so our students can be able to experience different learning opportunities, moving from different areas, computer lab, science lab, and all the areas. And we are asking our parents, please to come on board with us. Please, you can make your small donations and contributions. We really appreciate that towards the building. It's been there for a long time. We have been working tirelessly and we are asking our parents, please to come on board, offer support. We also have like a skills bank for parents who are able to chip in and based on their skill set, expertise in special areas, then they can connect, communicate with us at the school so we can know to see how they can help us. And we will do this together. Thank you so much. Over to Principal Holness. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Pinock. Thank you, Mrs. Pinock. Parents and students, I really want to apologize for what is happening. My having some internet challenges. Mrs. Pinock has she has mentioned most of what I would like. I just like to encourage you all to do your very best. And this academic year, even though we have this hiccup, it will not continue like this. I am very, very sorry. And I wish you all the very best for the new academic year. I will be meeting with the grade one, with the grade two and the grade three parents and students further down into the month, but I'm having some technical issues. And as such, I will have to stop at this point. Thank you very much. And over back to Mrs. Campbell.
Thank you so much, Mr. Holness and Mr. Spino. All right, so we'll have the question and answer segment. I'm not sure if Mrs. Spinock will be able to facilitate this part since Sir is having problems. Uh, Mr. Holness? Sir Holness? Mrs. Spinock? I'm here, I can facilitate, I'm here. Okay, sure. So parents, you can um, raise your hand and Sir, we call you and you can ask your question. Thank you. Are there any questions from the parents? Here. Sorry, Mrs. Campbell Morgan. Mrs. Campbell Morgan. Sorry, Mrs. Campbell Morgan. If the parents are yes. not. Yes, I'm here. Is, we are having some technical technical challenges. Um We can take the questions now, Ms. Pinnock and Mrs. Campbell Morgan. Yes, sir. I'm, we, I'm looking for, okay, I see, um, I'm looking for the parents. Okay, I see the children raising their hands. Um, is that Janiel Hunter? Uh -huh. Yes, good afternoon. <clears throat> good afternoon. Good afternoon. My child is in grade, well, going into grade two now, he's into grade two. Um, I haven't heard anything about the contribution fee as it relates to the new school year. It is it is seven thousand three hundred, mommy. Right. Okay, thank you very much. Oh, can I make this payment? You can make it online, or you can come in office and pay. What time does the office open? The office will open on Wednesday, starting at nine. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. Over to. Um, Romaine Reed. Mom, miss? Hello. Miss? Yes, I'm the Mania. Um, my mommy, my, my mommy is here, but do some. All right, ask, ask mommy to come and ask a question, okay, my dear? Thank you. Please mute your mic. Um, Natasha? This is. Right, not from Natasha. Good, uh, good morning. Good afternoon, Miss. Hi. Good afternoon. Um, I'm the guardian for Maya Atkinson. I come by the school. I accident happened with her mother, and I am the guardian now. But I don't get an email. I update at the school. I don't get an email to know who is our teacher. And I didn't get like a WhatsApp or anything. All it's right, a so parent just, that sent so me. So let me just let me just interject it. That's the reason for this meeting, mother. As soon as we are finished with the question and answer section, you'll be placed in your breakout group and all those information will be given to you. Yeah, I'm just I'm just saying because through might be the information we send to our mother phone and the mother is no longer here. Right. So when but you get why... into when you go into the breakout room, then you can give that information. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Um Roberto Stewart. Okay. Good afternoon. I think I will wait until we get to the breakout room, then I'll ask my question of Roberta's teacher. Okay, sure. Thank you. Um, thank you, too. 
I see. Oh, good afternoon. This is Natasha. Okay. My question is this. Rebooks, textbooks to purchase. When should we purchase them? One. Secondly, I'm hesitating because I have grade two books that are still new, that have not been used. Some also have been a concern there where the books are concerned to be purchased. All one of them crooks that are the right size for me. Please mute your mic. Um, Tribon, please mute your mic. Also, is the funds, the school fee is the same for everybody as a sub of three? I don't, let me answer both que all questions. Starting with the last one, the, the, the contribution a fee is $7,300 right across the board. New students, students who are new coming into the school for the very first time, they pay a different fee. That's one. Two, as it relates to the book, we are currently not selling any books at the school and um, parents are encouraged to go to the various bookshops to purchase their books. As it relates to the usage of the book, what we have found out is that most of the parents, they did not purchase their books. And as such, you will find in a class only one student. The instruction or the way forward for this academic year to the teachers is that even if it is one student in the class that has purchased their textbook, we are to use it. And also to encourage all parents to purchase the book because we will be using the books this academic year. So we do understand your concern, Ms. McNaughton. However, there are some things that we can't control. And where we, where we have seen that is your last academic year, we are putting in things in place for this year so that it will mitigate that issue that you would have encountered last year. And if there are any grade two parents here who would like to purchase those books from you, then arrangements can be made. All right? Thank um, you. That's what I was going to ask. At okay. even so, a reduced cost. So we can, we can, we can make some arrangement for, for, for that to happen. But we do understand the point. And um, parents, for those persons who may ask us questions about the how we will reopen, a part of my presentation and due to the, uh, the challenges of my device, I'm having mm -hmm. Sir, is what I did? Mr. Holders? Right, Mrs. <laughs> hey, Mrs. Kim Morgan, thank you. As soon as the parents go to the breakout room, Yes. They will be informed by a team leader and the class teacher. They'll give an outline in terms of... Um, here, are you hearing me? Okay. Yes, sir, we're hearing you now. Um, thank you, Mrs. Spinner. Finish what you're saying, Mrs. Spinner. Saying that when they go to the breakout yes. room, they'll get further details as to how we are going forward in terms of schooling, book list, timetables, and all of the assignments for the students. That information will be provided in the breakout rooms. Thank you for that, Mrs. Pino. Thank you. Miss, what do you say? Sir, we're not hearing you. Where do we go to the breakout room? You, you will be assigned session, after this session. When we break from here, you'll be assigned to your breakout room, please. So you'll meet your class teachers, team leaders, and get all the necessary information. Thank you. Um, sorry, I have an issue. Excuse me, me. Okay, go, go ahead. ahead. I'm assigning mommy. My hand was up for a while now. Go ahead. Um, pertaining to the parent that said she has the book for grade two. I did not get a signage um, mathematics book 
if she has it, then I will purchase it from her. Okay. So if she's on, then I would purchase it from her. So she would be able to purchase her child's grade three book. Thank you, greatly appreciated. Thank you. You're welcome. Morgan? Yes, please. Please, please proceed. Hi. Thank you. Please mute your mics, everybody. All right, so we have come to the end of our virtual orientation for this segment. No, hold on, before you move further, I have a question. My hand was raised for a while. All right, go ahead quickly. My Mr. daughter, who is no, has no transition to grade two, um, last year we were not given a PE top, and she was not, they wouldn't have been placed in houses. Will that be happening this year, and will we be getting the PE gear this semester? Okay, if you have not received your PE gear, you're going to go into the office, please, and you'll be assisted in that. And for the houses, yes, they will be placed in houses, but the class teacher will communicate with you. Thank you. I have a question. Well, I have something to say, rather. Okay, please go ahead. Um, my child, Kenny um, I was invited to two different grade two WhatsApp groups, one for Miss Knight and one for Miss Gordon. So I'm not sure where she belongs to. Okay, all right. You'll speak with the team leader or one of the teachers and they will clarify for you. Okay. Okay. Yes, thank you. You're welcome. Good afternoon. Um, I have a quick question. Um, I have two children. One is in grade two and one is in grade three. I know you're going to be doing the breakout segment. So is it that it's going to be separate links or it's just one link to share for both? Group? Mm -hmm. so, they'll be having two links. Miss, shall we leave? No, not yet, because you'll be placed in your group accordingly so that you can be addressed by the team leader for each grade and also get to meet the teachers for that team who will be sharing. Okay? Okay, thank you very much. Yes, You're me. welcome. You're welcome. Excuse me. Okay. Excuse me. Please go ahead. Are you going to have school no, tomorrow? Don't no, please don't leave. No, you're Daddy. Going to, you're going to go in breakout room so you can get to see your teacher and hear from your team leader in a moment. Thank you. This is Carol right, Morgan. Thank you, thank you so hey, much. The thank signal you. is on for us to move to the breakout rooms. Thank right. you so much, parents. Thank you, students. Thank you, Mrs. Cameron Morgan. Sure. So, so we're going to respond to the prompts for breakout room at this time. Now, thank you so much. So um, again, parents, thank you so much for attending our virtual orientation. It was a pleasure having you and thanks for your patience and your cooperation. Um, so you're going to move over now to your breakout room. Grade two parents will choose grade two and grade three parents will choose grade three. All right, thank you so much.